high intensity exercise versus low intensity exercise and what's the effect that each one of these has on your heart muscle. How's it going runners? My name is Justin Thompson. I'm your average running PT and I help the average runner achieve their own personal elite status. If that's something you guys are into, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you know when the next video comes out. So a quick little breakdown, then I'm going to give you some examples and how this actually presents in your heart. So with higher intensity exercise, so we're talking about getting your heart rate high, doing higher intensity interval training or HIIT training. Uh, we're talking about speed work. We're talking about, um, you know, running your, your easy runs faster or, or whatever. Basically, it means you're getting your heart rate up higher. Now we take that and compare it to lower intensity exercise where it's really, really easy, easy stuff and the heart rate stays lower, but you're still getting an aerobic benefit. So let's talk a little bit about these differences and what effect that actually has on your heart muscle. Okay, so I'm going to draw two different hearts up here on the whiteboard. And... Yes, I know this is not anatomically correct, but it'll still give us a little view of what's going on. So, when we exercise, the heart muscle itself is actually going to grow. Now, the way that they grow is differently depending on what kind of exercise you're actually doing. So when we're doing low intensity, um, exercise, low intensity, low intensity, um, versus high intensity, both of the heart muscles are going to grow, but they're going to grow differently. So let's look at high intensity first, and let's think about it in terms of a sprinter versus a distance runner. So if we think about a sprinter, and you look at it and you visualize one of them in your mind, or I'll even put one up here on the screen, you're going to notice that in general, not all of them, but in general, they're a little bit more bulky, more muscular, um, and they just have a lot more mass to them. And that's because their training is very specific to what they're doing, and it's very high intensity. So if you've got somebody that's running 100 meters and they're trying to do it all out, that's not an aerobic activity necessarily. It's something that is 100, you know, it's really a lot of anaerobic activity. So they're maxing out their muscular contractions in order to get down that straightaway as quickly as possible. Now when that happens, they're basically taxing their muscles in such a way that it's going to create muscle growth. And when the heart rate gets higher, it's working at a much harder intensity, the muscle of the heart is actually going to grow in a very similar fashion. So if we consider this the inside wall of the heart muscle, then the outside wall is here. So this is the actual mass of the muscle, is this distance right here. Now if you're doing a lot of higher intensity activity, that mass is what's actually going to start to grow, and this the heart muscle is going to grow so that the mass of the heart muscle itself is much greater. So if I take that out, you can see now the actual mass of the muscle itself has grown. Now in comparison, if we look at lower intensity exercise, what we're going to see is something a little bit different. Whenever we are getting this heart growth, it's not so much coming from additional mass that's being packed onto the muscle that's already there. It's coming from a stretching of the muscle itself to allow for a greater volume of blood to be able to go into the heart so that it can then be pumped out. So instead of getting this larger mass here, what you're actually going to get is a larger heart muscle, but the wall of the heart is actually going to be a little bit thinner. And again, that makes the volume 
of the inside of the heart significantly greater than the volume of the inside of the heart of somebody that's doing primarily high intensity exercise. Now I know these drawings are really ugly and hard. Hopefully they, hopefully they help with the visualization. My art is uh, a little bit lacking right now, but hopefully you can understand that whenever you do more low intensity exercise, the effect on the heart is that the, the muscle is going to stretch, allowing more blood into the heart so that it can pump more out and become more efficient with aerobic activity. Whenever you're doing the higher intensity, you're going to get a bigger heart muscle that's going to just pump harder. Um, however, the number of beats required to pump the same amount of blood is going to be significantly higher here because the volume that the heart can actually hold is much, much less. So I hope that that example was helpful and it just kind of goes to show that specificity of training is really important. So depending on your goals, if your goal is to be able to run really fast, then you're probably going to need to train a little bit differently than if you're wanting to run for a longer period of time. And not only are your muscles and your lungs being trained, but your heart muscle is actually being trained in a different way as well. So specificity of training is really, really important when it comes to distance running. So how does that affect you whenever you're doing low heart rate training versus higher heart rate training? Well, low heart rate training is going to give you more of that effect where your heart muscle is stretching, allowing for a greater volume of blood to get into the heart so that a greater volume of blood can be pumped out. If you're running all of your easy runs harder than you should, though, then you're probably working the heart a little bit too hard and you're getting more growth of the mass of the heart muscle itself, which isn't allowing for the muscle of the heart to stretch and allow more blood into the heart muscle. Now these effects don't happen necessarily quickly. These are effects that happen over time. So, you know, don't expect that within four weeks you're, you've doubled the mass of your, your heart muscle if you're doing entirely high intensity exercise. And definitely don't expect for your heart to stretch out um, and, and allow for a significantly greater volume of blood in four weeks if all you're doing is low intensity exercise. Now, just like with training your body, you know, you, when you, when we do running, we train our muscles to run longer distances, but we also want to train them to be able to run faster. But you also have to consider, you know, what's the uh, effect of each of your different runs. So just like with our body, we want to make sure that we avoid overtraining by doing too much uh, running or doing too high intensity of a run. We have to consider that with our heart as well. Um, and how well is our heart actually recovering from the efforts that we put in? So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this. Let me know if you've heard of this before and let me know if it makes sense. And of course, if you need me to explain those drawings, you know, I can't explain my artistic ability, but hopefully I can explain the drawings a little bit better if you have a specific question about them. So that's all for today, guys. Head on out there, seek your elite, God bless, and I'll see you next time.